along the island are closely watching the sky. Yeah, they are. Right now, there is a coastal flood warning. Channel 2's Haley Hernandez live for us at Jamaica Beach. Haley, was the drive out there, was it okay getting down there this morning? You know what? Uh, the commute is probably by far the worst part as of right now. Driving down here from Houston, roads are wet, they're slippery, and I've got to tell you that the wind is uh, it's pretty strong. So anybody going south to the island or coming from here all the way up, going all the way up to Houston, uh, it's going to be a messy commute this morning. There is a fo uh, coastal flood warning down here in Jamaica Beach. Persistent southeast winds will strengthen and tides will be elevated. I'm going to step out of the way so that you can see the tide right now. Now, tide levels are projected to increase three to four feet. Hold near that level through the morning before slowly receding. Again, the coastal flood warning expected to end around noon. Now, that means that flooding is imminent in this area. So, coastal residents should be alert for rising water. Take all the precautions you need to take uh, in order to prepare yourself for that. For Jamaica Beach on the bay side, the lowest streets will likely become flooded and impassable. One last thing that I should should add here is that the coastal flood warning is uh, also saying that the Bolivar Ferry service may be dangerous this morning due to uh, elevated tide levels and strong winds. So, no matter what your form of transportation getting to work, it could be a messy commute in. Reporting live from Jamaica Beach, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right.